today we're going to be working with XML. I'm not going to be showing you how XML works, but uh, we're going to be taking a look at how to work with XML in JavaScript. So the XML we have here today is just a basic file. I have a uh, people and then I have uh, two people in here, which is called person. They both have an ID property. They have a name and an address object with a road, city, and zip code. And we're gonna be extracting this information, working with it. Why you might wanna work with this data is that there's a lot of old APIs which still uses XML. So it's important that you know how to work with this data and convert it to a more popular format so the first thing we want to do is to import fs and we're going to be using a library called xml2js. We're going to be using two parts of it. So it, we're going to be using the string parser and the builder. Next, we're going to be loading this XML file. You could also have loaded this XML from a web API. Next up, we're going to be taking the string parser, which is a function. And then we are just going to take the XML into it and convert it to a JSON object. So let's take a look at that JSON data. So let's run this. And you can see that we see this object here. It's formatted a bit funny. If we do slash people and run it again, you could see that we get this sort of object with a person object inside of it. So the way I see this is that it gets converted to a person's array under people. So it, it's a bit funny how it does it. But if we go in on that object, you can see that we just have an array and we can also get the length of this or we can select individual values. So we can select the first value. Now, if you want to access any of the properties up here. So the ID in this case, you can access it by doing a dot dollar sign and the dollar sign will access all of the properties up here and no dollar sign for accessing to properties down here. So if we just show that, you can see that we get an object with the ID. If we wanted to change the ID here to let's say free, then we would just say person, then we select the first person and then we say the dollar. So we want to select the property up here and then we just do dot ID and you can see that we just get the ID. Later, I'm going to be showing you how to save this and modify it. And if you want to, for instance, select a property like the name, you can just do it like that and that will select the name. Now you can see that this selects an array. I think that's a really weird way of doing it. But if you want to convert that to a string, you're just going to select the first element. There you go. And you will get the string. I don't really know why you have to do this last thing here. Okay. So after showing the object, we're going to modify value. So we do that by selecting the data people dot person. So the person's array, the first entry in the person's array, and then we just select the dollar and ID and we set that to two. So we'll set this ID to two. Okay. Now, if you run this, it's not going to change anything because we haven't saved it yet. So next up, we're going to be taking this JSON object and converting it back to XML. So we need the builder from XML to JS and we're going to be doing builder dot build object. And then we're just going to be taking the data. So our JSON data, this could obviously be any JSON object. It doesn't have to come from this data object. It could be any JSON data. And then we're just going to convert that to XML. And next up, we're going to be using FS to write this file. Now we're doing all this synchronously. You could have done it asynchronously as well. So we will write a file called data.xml. So the same file we read. And then we're going to be passing in the XML. And then we're just going to have a function with an error and the file. And in there, we're just going to say if error, then we'll throw that error. Otherwise, we'll just say save. And if we run this, you can see that we both print out this person down here. And we actually modify this value to be a 2 instead of a 1. Okay, so that was working with XML in JavaScript. I hope you learned something and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.